Hello, my name is Blake Brinza, and I am presenting a PowerPoint over the TED Talk for Argument's Sake by David H. Cohen. The presenter starts off by presenting arguments that are usually shown as war, and arguments are usually loud and bombastic, and there's always two sides, and really, only one side usually wins. But when only one side wins an argument, the loser isn't helped much by losing. They can't learn much whenever they lose an argument. So there needs to be new ways to find progress from an argument. So the speaker brings up compromise and how compromise can be the real way to finish an argument strong and how both sides can gain something. David H. Cohen is a, Daniel H. Cohen is a professor at Colby College, which is also the college that this TEDx event was presented at. And he specializes in philosophy, so he does have a stake in philosophy, which this TED talk is his expertise in. <coughs> He presents many philosophy keynotes, and he is sort of an expert on this. He um, works a lot with argumentation. So I decided to use a scientific lens <coughs> as a viewpoint for this presentation. Scientifically, there are many arguments. Um, there are arguments on ethics, so like, recently gene editing. There are arguments on scientific theories and which ones should be accepted. There are arguments on new discoveries in science, so a new invention, something like that. There are arguments in changes in the world, so climate change. Do you believe it? Do you not? And you're presenting a sound, you know, well-argued, tight argument in English before a francophone audience just isn't going to work. So we have these models, argument is war, argument is proof, and argument as performance. Um, of those three, the argument is war is the dominant one. It dominates how we talk about arguments, it dominates how we think about arguments. So, as the speaker is saying, argument as war is the dominant form of argument. And in reality, there should be more dominant forms of arguing in order to find a common ground. 